Hello guys, hello again YouTube. Today I am back with a brand new video. This video is going to be a May favorite. I haven't done a favorites video in such a long while. Maybe last year was the last time. I can't remember, but we're not talking about that. Let's just forget about this. Um, so I have a few products that I have been loving. So I thought I'll come in here and just show with you guys what they are. So as you guys know, I went to Paris for my birthday. That was in, that was last month actually. April, at the end of March, beginning April. Since my birthday is April 1st. So, um... I discovered a couple products that had completely changed my skin. You can't really see that today because I... Today I apply all the Wong makeup. I apply the Wong foundation, the Wong concealer. I just apply pretty much everything Wong on my face today. I know I'm on here talking about how my skin has changed and this video is not really doing my skin justice because... I might as well do the video without makeup because <laughs> this makeup makes me look like horrible but it's okay I'm not gonna go and do it again I'm just gonna now take the L and move on. I've discovered a couple products actually I have one of them I have been seeing for the longest time since I started blogging like seven years ago this product I've been seeing it around but you know I'm like the anti-hype queen so I always kind of like stay away I don't know why well I know why I do that is because I hate you know the hype stuff and sometimes I feel like I need to let that go a little bit and try those hype products because there are a reason why they are hype sometimes is because they are actually quite good so I feel like French skincare has definitely changed my life actually my friend Rosie is in Paris right now and I've told her please get me like two of each things um, because I'm gonna be back in Paris at the end of September so that's gonna give me enough time um, to get the products. I guess it is true what they say about French skincare. Those actually is three products. The other one that I don't have, uh, my friend is gonna bring it for me. It's Biafine. I'll just include a picture here so you can see what it is. It's amazing. Um, the first product is the Embryolis. You guys have seen this around. This product has been around for the longest time. And oh my god, I am just obsessed with this moisturizer. I cannot believe I have never tried this before. This stuff is just so freaking amazing. It's like very moisturizing, but it's not greasy. Like this has changed my skin. This, I wear this by itself in the morning. And then I apply my SPF, which is another product that I have been loving. I'm usually, I've been against SPF for the longest time, but this year I am kind of like taking it a little serious and and applying my SPF. So this, my morning routine, I need to do an updated morning routine because it has completely changed. Um, this I use by itself in the morning and then I apply my SPF. I think I'm supposed to do the opposite, apply my SPF, then apply my moisturizer, but I don't know, I need to switch that. Let me know if that's how you're supposed to do it. And then at night, I apply this and then I go in with my homeoplasmin this stuff oh my goodness the reason why i wouldn't recommend using this in the morning on the morning because this is really greasy this is actually a cream for like um irritation the lapo that's what it says for like skin irritations if you have a cut you can use it on your lips you can use it like on your entire body so if you have a cut like i had here oh my god it's like almost disappeared so you can apply it to like pretty much all over your body if you have a cut if you have skin irritations and also another trick that i found if you want this if you want to like modify your lipstick you could apply this i've been applying this as my um a lip balm so this modifies your lipstick if you apply it underneath your lip balm so i apply this pretty much all over my body so at night i apply this first and then i give this about like 30 minutes or 15 minutes to marinate into my skin it depends on what time i'm going to bed and then um usually right before i go to bed i go in with this and just apply so much on my skin as you can see it's like halfway done this is actually a new bottle my other bottle is just like completely done i just ordered this from netta porte I was wondering, oh my god, where am I going to find this? But Neta Pote sell this, if you are wondering. I will leave a link below if you guys are interested in trying this product. Oh my god. Completely revolutionized my skin. I cannot leave without, without these two products. These will be in my beauty 
kit for forever i think I, I i just oh my god these are just amazing and if you guys have tried this before let me know how you feel about them because i'd love to hear your thoughts and your experience with these products if you have and the next product that i've discovered again i've always been against sunscreen i don't know why i think you know what i'm dark skin i'm black we don't crack i don't need to wear spf but you know, I've just been like, you know what, maybe I need to start using SPF because I'm in my 30s, um, early 30s. Um, <laughs> so I thought, you know what, I need to get, and you know, I need to just, like start protecting my skin. And then I feel like I've just been realizing how important it is to start like a skin routine or to just have like have like a good skincare routine from the beginning. I wish I had started like with an eye cream since I was like in my 20s and all that stuff. Um, the only reason why I have dark circles is because of my allergies. So I just like rub my eyes a lot and then that's what causes my dark circles. If it wasn't for allergies, I wouldn't have them. Um, still, I wish I had started with, you know, a really good skin skincare routine, you know, in my since i was like 20 years old but you know what it's never too late so i have been applying uh, my sunscreen in the morning and this is a green screen by pharmacy i love pharmacy they have this honey uh, face mask oh my god it's so good so and i usually hate um spf but this is like the only one i feel like that i really really like so it's this one i love this and they make amazing products um very natural i think i don't know why i did that but <laughs> so apply daily over your okay so i have been applying this properly so this is to apply it over your moisturizer which is what i've been doing in the morning i apply my embryolis la creme concentrée and then i go in and apply the green screen um so yeah to protect my i would say you definitely need a sunscreen start protecting your skin and get moving with uh you know with sunscreen another thing that i discovered not i discovered in paris this is like an italian brand but this i bought in paris i've seen this toothpaste at italy all the time in the city when i go there because it's like an all italian market um so i bought this in paris and oh my god i cannot go back to using any other toothpaste this is the best toothpaste that i've ever used in my entire life this is the marvis oh my god it's like it's 12 dollars. i paid like 12 euros for this but it's absolutely worth it um yeah you gotta leave it to the french and the italians to have like the best products they just freaking amazing so i actually need to go down to italy to get this or i could probably just order it on amazon because i have prime it would only take a couple days to get to me i think i'm just gonna do that today actually because i'm just like been squeezing it out of the tube and like there's literally nothing left and i went back to using one of my old toothpaste and i was like oh this is so disgusting so i need to hurry up and go get me another one of this another product that i've just discovered when i went to the essence party last month or was it this month or maybe it was at the beginning of this month i went to the essence party and um they gave this goodie bag in where we just like pick whatever we wanted and then i decided that i was going to try the elemis dynamic with surfacing with surfacing gel mask this is what it looks like and oh my goodness this stuff you apply it before you take a shower you leave it on for like eight ten minutes and then you rinse it off while you're in the shower this stuff is so good i took this stuff with me to mexico and it was so good this is supposed to be like anti-aging so you apply this is like a jelly just like it says it's a gel mask so you apply it on and it gives you like this like tingling sensation i just love it and when you rinse your face you just have like this glow i freaking love this mask so much it says this powerful gel mask help refine the skin the skin surface skin feels instantly smoother and more radiant i could definitely say it does that i love elemis i actually discovered a body oil from them and since then i have not been wearing any lotion i've only been wearing a body oil nowadays and i love it love, love it another product that i've used this before actually but i bought this when i was in paris is the bioderma um purifying cleansing foaming gel this stuff is so good if you have not tried this product 
you guys need to give it a try it's so so amazing I love this I usually buy this when we go to Canada every year but I got this when I was in Paris it I love this stuff so much I cannot recommend this foaming gel enough in the makeup arena another thing that I have been doing is wearing blush I know I stopped wearing blush for the longest time because I'm like oh it doesn't really show on my skin it really does show on my skin but I don't know why I stopped wearing blush because I love seeing girl who wear blushes it's just like they have this like flush cheeks it just looks so beautiful and natural and since I've gone back to just like barely their makeup all natural makeup I've gone back to wearing blushes and oh my goodness, I've rediscovered my favorite blush, this Copper Tone by MAC. It's like the perfect pinky peachy blush. It doesn't look anything like that from the pen, but oh my god, this is the most gorgeous blush ever for dark skin. Um, I've tried so many blushes in my life and nothing compares to this. Nothing compared to this blush. Um, so yeah, if you've never tried this, you must give this. Like this is... This is a favorite. I actually have to see if Max still sells this. I may want to get another one as a backup. But um, I've been using this every day since like December. I freaking love this blush. Another thing that I've rediscovered is my Makeup Forever H Ultra HD Foundation. Again, when I came back from Mexico, I could not wear my regular foundation because I got a tan. I got a lot darker. And this is my summer foundation. I love this foundation it's like very natural it's not heavy it's like very very light but you still get good coverage when i wear it i don't feel like i have anything on and my shade in this is 177 um so yes this is another foundation that i've rediscovered this is my summer foundation which i'll be wearing all summer uh because i already i've already got my tan from mexico and i'm going to cuba in four weeks so that means i'm probably gonna get even more tan and another product that I really love and we discovered again, it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Oh my god, I don't know why I stopped using this. I actually, actually at the time when the MAC, not the MAC, when the NARS one was like so hyped, I used to wear this and refuse to buy the NARS one because I'm like, oh, it's overhyped and all that stuff because you know me. Queen of the anti-hype stuff. So I have discovered this. This is in the shade 30 Cafe and I love this. It's just as a creamy concealer. I wish NARS has a color similar to this because I think they're Amand. Amand, it's a little too dark for me. Um, I think now it may work for me because I got a 10. I'm a lot darker. But yes, I love this little Maybelline um, concealer. It just glides on so well. I love it. It's so good. For perfume, for perfume again, while I was in Paris, if you're going to buy perfume, Paris is the place to buy perfume. So I bought, you guys already know that I love men cologne. Uh, my stepdad used to have this. I actually finished it and stole it when I moved out, when I moved out four years ago. Because, oh my goodness, this cologne, Azawa, it's called Azawa Pu'om. It's like so, so good. I don't even know if I can describe the smell, but you just, it just smell mm, like rich. Like, oh, you just, yeah, you just smell so rich. When I wear this, oh my goodness, I just feel so abundant, so rich. Oh, I just love, love this cologne. So if you're in Paris, definitely give this a try. It's, um... Um, I love this. I'm so glad. My stepdad, you know Haitians. Haitians, they go crazy for the perfume because, again, we just, just like the French. Um, yeah, my stepdad colon collection is just like to die for. And um, I love pretty much all his colon. When, I'm, when I go back to Paris in September, I am going, I'm going to go to to my house and actually take a picture of his collection because I want to buy everything for myself because I just love his collection. His collection is amazing. He always smells so good and I love everything he wears. And this is the body oil that I have been using. I bought this from TJ Maxx. This is Jasmine Oil. I've just been using this as lotion. 
actually quite like using oil instead of lotion. Um, this does, it doesn't feel sticky. That the longest for the longest time, I thought like you know when you wear like oil on your body, you would feel sticky, you would feel greasy or anything, but you actually don't. Once you apply it. It just like melt into your skin. It just give your skin like the best glow. I love this, especially when I wear skirt. Like you could see my legs just like glowing. As you can see, this is what my skin looks like, just like glowing. As you can see the different shade. This is where my watch usually is, and for my tan and stuff. So yeah, I have been obsessed with body oil. Um, right now, I'm currently using the Jasmine, but I use pretty much everything. I use jojoba. I love jojoba oil. It's so good. Um, I think the only one I don't use on my skin is probably coconut. I use coconut for my hair because for some reason, coconut oil goes really well with my hair. I know a lot of people say that it doesn't go with their hair, but coconut oil goes really well with my, with my hair. And the thing I love about this, I could just use it on my hair as well if I need to. So yeah, I have just been obsessed with body oil. Um, I haven't used my lotion in like a couple months now since I've discovered body oil. I don't know why I waited so long to try it. Another thing that I have discovered, I don't know why I've never tried the Benefit precisely my bar pencil. This is the best eyebrow pencil in the entire world. Um, this is number five. This is usually always sold out. I actually prefer number four because number four is less harsh. I feel number four is probably better for me because whenever I use this, I'm like, oh my god, this is too dark. Like today. Um, this is always sold out anyway, so I don't mind number four. This is actually number five. I found it that day, but I go between them too. It depends on whichever one is available. So I love this. This glides on so smooth. Actually, with my old one from NYX, it used to like take out my brow hairs as I was put filling them in. But this never. I, I never lose any hair when I apply this, and it's so creamy. It's like this pencil is a dream. I see why it's twenty four dollars. It is worth every penny. But I'm gonna get my eyebrows microbladed soon, so that means I'm gonna be using this less, which I am so excited about. I cannot wait to get my eyebrows microbladed. Oh my god. Counting the days. I'm still gonna have this, you know, to kind of like fill them in a little bit, you know, to clean them. But other than that, I won't really be using an eyebrow pencil. And the other thing that I've been using along with it is the Benefit Give Me Brow. This is also in number five. This is so amazing. Once I fill in my brows, I just go in and brush them. It kind of like sets it in place and just like stay on all day. So that is it for beauty stuff. Um, as far as fashion, I don't really have like any piece of clothing that, I, that I've been wearing. I've just been wearing pretty much everything that I have. But another thing that's in my monthly favorite when it comes to fashion is this bag. These are the bags from Bali. Oh my god, I'm just obsessed with this little bag. I have actually been carrying this bag to work. I know this is not a work bag. I actually stopped carrying like regular work bag all last year. I haven't worn like, you know, regular big bags. I've just been wearing whatever small bags I have at the time. And I've been wearing this to work every day. And this is really good. It kind of like you know take everything that i need i love this this is very spacious i'm just obsessed with this little bag i love it so much you guys know i love basket bags i don't know why about basket bags i don't know i just love it i feel like you just make an outfit look so fresh i just love the idea of someone wearing something very modern as a suit and then you pair it with a basket bag i love that so i just ordered two big ones um Two Moroccan basket bags. I love this. The other one is the same way, but it's just like a little bit bigger. I do want a smaller one in this, so I'm on the hunt for like a smaller size of this. I've just been obsessed with basket bags. Actually, I have like a growing collection, which I will show with you guys pretty soon. Once I have like a, you know, my collection where I want it. I'm still buying more basket bags. I'm actually not even interested in any other kind of bags. I just want to buy more basket bags. For shoes, for shoes, you guys know I am obsessed with the Chanel slingbacks. 
but I don't know I just cannot justify spending a thousand dollars on a shoe I think that's how much they are so I did find the only dupes that I really like was the Ivanka Trump ones but I'm like I cannot see myself spending money on the Trump family I just could not do it so um my other favorite brand for shoe Franco Sotto they make my favorite shoe ever they had this dupe for the Chanel sling bag and oh my god I just went straight there to DSW this was like 59 bucks so I went and bought these this is like so classic you could just wear them with everything and it's exactly the same as the Chanel just minus the C on the side it's just like the perfect color because you guys know I am obsessed with everything camo and these shoes are just the perfect shoe for everyday uh, work especially for the summertime um, and spring is just like perfect so guys I think this is it for all my oh for books a book that I have been loving this month has been the Ohoponopono this is this Hawaiian practice of forg forgiveness which I have discovered a couple weeks ago I have been practicing it and oh my god I feel like it's changed my life um, I felt like I don't know I felt like my life couldn't get any better but from practicing this I feel like everything is just like so much better everything just like flows so naturally I don't have to like try so hard to make something happen just life just like flows so I've really really been loving this so um, yeah just if you want to get into Hopono, you could just watch there's like a bunch of videos on YouTube um, that you can find on this or you could just get a book and read it um, I want to get Zero Limits by Joe Vitale but I listened to the audiobook so I don't think I need to read it but it would be nice to to read it because I prefer paper and I feel like there's always different things you're gonna find when you read a book versus when you listen to it so it's sometimes it's good to so guys thank you so much for watching this video do share with me what have you been loving for the month of May please please tell me if you have any tips or anything let me know I would love to try one of the things that you guys have been loving for myself because again I'm trying to be a little bit more adventurous and trying out new things and not being stuck in the same old things because you never know what you may find when you try new things it's funny I'm just like the advocate for like trying new things but when it comes to like beauty sometimes I like stick to what I know to you know stick to what works for me but it's good to remember that you know it's just a part like if you don't like it you never have to use it again you can return it especially if you're back from Sephora or whatever so yeah don't be scared to try out new things go out there try out new things and I'd love to hear what you guys have been loving please share with me thank you so much for watching this video let me know what other videos that you guys would like to see um I will see you guys in my next one bye bye oh hey I got a new um chest drawers chest of drawers I've been wanting this for the longest time and the minute I got clarity, I'm like, this is exactly what I want. Literally, like two days after, somebody gave this to me for free. Like, I didn't even have to pay for it. I'm telling you guys, law of attraction is so powerful. Sometimes all you have to do is get clear on what you want. For the longest time, I just wasn't sure on what I wanted. And then I just woke up that day, I'm like, this is what I want. And then two days later, somebody, you know, somebody gave this to me for free without me even paying for anything. So, sometimes you need to not most of the times all you need to do is get clear on what you want and the universe will just like send it to you i don't know why i'm like going to preachy mode but thank you again so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye